How do you put social media icons in your email signature? Today's video is inspired by a viewer request and I'm gonna show you just how to do it. Before we get started, my name's Michelle. I release weekly videos on marketing, websites, and all things design. So if you find any of this information helpful, please be sure to give this video a like. It really helps me out. All right, there's a couple of things that I wanna go over before we get into the tutorial. First, I do have a couple of additional videos on how to create an HTML signature, how to create an email signature in Google Docs, and how to install for Apple Mail. So if you are interested in any of those topics, I will have a link in the description below that you can check those out. Second, because this tutorial will require individual images for each social media icon, I thought I'd do you guys a solid and I put together a free template that you can utilize where you can customize the colors for your own brand and pick and choose which icons make sense for you. It's a free Canva template and if you want to get that, all you have to do is visit the link for my blog below. You can put your email in and then I'll send it directly to your inbox. If you don't have Canva and you still wanna get the template, not a problem, you can sign up for Canva for free, get the template, and then download any of the icons in whatever format file that you prefer. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to put social media icons in our email signature, we first need social media icons. We need individual files of each social media platform that we want to include. So it can be kind of annoying to create individual assets. You are welcome to do it. I decided to do a little bit of the legwork for you and I put together this Canva template. So that's what we're looking at right now. These are 40 pixels by 40 pixels. And then I just put a variety of styles and shapes in there for each platform not all the platforms, it's most of them. If you decide that you want to customize it with your own brand colors, you can always click on one of these icons and then you can select a different color there if you want. So many options to make it your own. I'll turn it back to black. And then once you're ready to download these, you could do it all at once. You just come up to this download button and then you can choose whichever file type that you prefer. PNG and JPEG are gonna be the ones that I recommend. So if you have a preference one or the other, you can definitely do that. Select your file type and then you would come down to the pages and then you can either select all of them, but if you don't want to download them all at the same time, you can always just pick and choose the couple that you want and then you hit done and then download. And then you've already got all of your icons ready for you. So if you want this template, I'm giving it away for free. You can go to the description of this video, which has a link to my blog. And then if you go to the blog, you'll see this green box where you can put in your name, your email, and then it'll just send you the template automatically. So once you have all of your individual files ready, then you can add them to your email signature. Let's take a look at what adding these to a Google document email signature might look like. So I have this table structure in here and this is from a previous video. So if you wanna check that out, you can just go to the description and then we've got icons. So it works the same exact way as we did with the logo. So if I were to remove some of these, and I want to add them back in. I can see that my cursor's there. And then I will just go to insert image, upload from computer. And then I downloaded each of the files. So I get to choose which ones that I want to put in. So maybe let's do Facebook. If I hold down the command key, I'm using a Mac, I can select additional ones. So I would like to do Instagram, maybe we'll do LinkedIn and YouTube. We'll just do four for now. So I'm gonna hit open and I can see that all of my icons have appeared in there. So the reason I made them 40 pixels is because we do wanna display them slightly smaller than what they are built at, just because that's gonna help with retina screens and making things look crisp. So how would we resize? and make sure that every single icon is the same size. So if I click on an icon and I see that I've got some options here, I actually wanna hit the three dots and then go to all image options. This is gonna allow me to set the size that I want to use. So right now it's 0.42. So if I go down a little to 0.32, that is going to make sure that things look good when they're sent through email. So I'm gonna do that with each individual image. 
so that we have them all the same size. Let's say that they're maybe a little too close together. If I place my cursor by the last one, I can just use my arrow keys, I can use my space bar, and then I can put a space in between each of them and that spreads it out just a little bit. We don't, we might not want them too close since we're linking these. So how would we link these? We click on the image, we find this link, and then you type the URL of your social media account, you click apply, and then that link's been added. You repeat that process with each individual link so they go to the proper locations. So once you have your email styled, so in order to get this email signature into either Gmail or Outlook, we just need to copy and paste it into our signature box. So we could do something like Command A or it would be Control A on a PC where you could select all and then you could do Command C or Control C on a PC and then you would copy it into your signature box. This will not work for Apple Mail. So if you do want to do something with Apple Mail, you will have to create an HTML signature. So if you are curious on how to install an HTML signature for Apple Mail, I do have a video on that. Again, that link is in the description so you can check that out. So let's take a look at what that code looks like. So you'll just have your HTML table built, you'll have all of your styling, and then with with this example, I've done a separate row for all of my images, which are just side by side. So I've got the link with the image and that URL will be different. You do have to host these images somewhere if you want them to work because it needs to pull that source from somewhere. So your URL source code will be different than mine. And then you can add any additional styling that you want. So I put some padding above it, just 10 pixels. And then I also did some padding to the right and did five pixels in between each image. So you can make all of those styling adjustments and then you can do it two ways. So if you're using Apple Mail, there is a very specific way that you would want to install this. However, if you are using the Microsoft Outlook platform, you can easily have your HTML ready. And then what you need to do is copy and paste from a browser or a window like this. So I'm using CodePen, but I could easily click over and then I could select everything. I could copy the design and then I could paste it into Outlook. This method doesn't really work so great with Gmail. So this is probably very specific to Outlook if you wanna do the copy paste method there. Gmail just doesn't really work great with HTML. So really the best way to style an email signature for Gmail is to go ahead and build it in a Google Doc and then copy and paste it. It's a very quick overview for the entire process. Let me know if you found this helpful. And as always, if you have questions on anything, just leave those in the comments. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribing doesn't hurt either. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.